all right guys welcome to my channel once again it's views as usual and guys sorry you're not gonna see my face this time around because my camera is bad so i'll be making a voice record and i hope you all can hear me clearly and very well all right in this video i'll be telling you how to create the automatic image slider without the use of javascript so we're going to create a background image that's going to be changing in five seconds interval without having to put a javascript code so right here now i have laid out my html layout so we'll be creating a div to hold the images and afterward we'll be creating um the animation effect to move the images from one to another in, in five seconds interval so in my file here i've saved the three images here you can see them i have saved the three images to be using in a folder where i have saved my html file also and my css file but let's get back to our code now so i'll be using um visual studios code here and i'm using my chrome browser to display my result so let's get right into it first of all we'll create a div for the body create a div all right guys so this div will be holding the image so let's notice there let's create a comment right there that this div will be holding our image all right div for this is div for the image image background let's tell you right. so guys are you with me now so on after this now what we need to create is add a class to this div though there are just there's going to be just one div so let's just leave it like this so we're going to use the selector for the class selector of div all right now let's save this our html file now let's move on to our css file all right now so for this CSS file now first of all i want the div to be centered i want the div to be centered so let's go back to our html file and make this div centered that is put our div to the center by using the html center tag so with this now the div will be centered now let's get right into editing the div in the CSS panel all right in the CSS now We'll be editing the div the div so first thing we'll do is add the width and the height of the div so i want the div to be as the height of 500 pixels and also have an height of 500 pixels so it's going to be a square um let me see it's going to be a square div it's going to be a square div let's say the background color the background color as as blue let's go should i go with blue or white let's use white white so it's gonna be making sense with white then let's give the body a background color to make the div stand out all right let's give the body um the body a background color of let's give the body a background a background color of um light blue or i would have preferred this alice blue all right let's go with this all right we've given our div a color given our div an height given our div a width now let's check out this in the browser let's refresh our browser now and see what we've done all right you can see this is our div now in the middle here you can see white what this white panel here is our div all right let's look at the background color is not coming out very well let's change the color of the background let's make it more blue blue like i know blue blue all right let's save this and see in our panel what we've created all right you can see now we have our div coming out very well now let's put in our image and let's get right into working with the image slider now on the div now i'm going to add the background image the background image for the div now so we have the background image here already so the url i'm using the url now i've saved the images in a file like i said here in a file here so i'm using the first image as img1 image1 i saved the file as image1 so i'm using that now so we have image1 dot jpeg as jpg I'm going to save that and i'm going to refresh my browser now and see where it's showing already all right you can see the image is already my browser but it's showing too much that is showing an, an extra large version of it so i'm going to have to reduce it by giving it a background size so i have a background size here a background size of 100 percent that is it's going to fill it's going to fill the div by 100 percent without any expansion all right you can see now now we fill the div 100% but you can see there's a repetition of the image over here so how to remove that is you have to put the background repeat property and set it to set the background property to no repeat so we have just one image to work with not ju not just two so we have one image to work with now you can see the div here this has space here for some other things so let's work with this now now i've gotten our images ready now 
Now, how do we add the automatic image slider? Now, let's work with that now. Now, we're going to be using what we call the animation property in CSS. So, in CSS, there's a property called animation property, which can be used to create the, the image slider without using JavaScript. So, I have talked about this animation in CSS back in my videos. You can check it out in my playlist. That is CSS animation and keyframe. So, I will show you now very quickly. I will run through the animation quickly now and also the keyframe. Then I'll run the video up. All right, guys, let's get into it now. So, the animation, we give animation a name. We give animation a name to work with the keyframe. Let's call this animation change. This animation is called change. All right. It's, the color will look white, so she shouldn't bother about that. Then we have the animation duration. That is how long the animation is going to last. How long animation? So let's give animation a duration of five seconds. So total duration of the animation is going to be five seconds. Then we have the animation iteration count. The next thing here is animation iteration count. That is how many times should the animation be repeated. So we're setting that to infinite. Infinite means continuously repeated. Then we have the animation direction. That is how the animation should be played, whether in the forward mode or in the backward mode or alternate, alternate reverse, normal, initial, and so on. So I'll pick it alternate here. We want to learn about other values that can be used. You can go to my channel and check out the other by other property I explained in the video over there. So I'm going to put in last thing here. We have is the animation delay. Now you wouldn't want your um you wouldn't want your um animation to start playing immediately your website loads. So what you do is add a delay function of two seconds to make the animation hold on for other pages to load, other things to load up before it starts playing. So for these two seconds we allow the animation animation to um hold the animation a little bit, delay it for two seconds before it starts changing. Alright, now we're done with the animation now. Now, how does this animation work now? It works with what we call the keyframe. Now let's add the keyframe to it. So add keyframe. Then this, this keyframe we use the property of the animation name, which is change. Which is change. Now this keyframe now is particular point where animation should be played. So we're going to be using percentage here. So at zero percent, at zero percentage, we want this property here. We want this image property here, this background image here, to remain the same. So we're going to copy this now and paste it here. That is, at 0%, this image should be remaining there. Now let's copy all of this and paste it down here. That is, at 50%, the image should change to the second image that we have there. And also, let me copy all of this and paste it here. And at 100%, that is, when the animation is completed, we should have an image looking like this image 3 so we are using three images here now so at zero percent this one is displaying at 50 percent and that one is displaying at 100 percent and that one is displaying and they will be played continuously for five seconds and in alternative mode that is from three back to one two three back to one two and three like that so all right let's do our website now so you can see now on our website after two seconds delay it's gonna change you can see that now so guys, we've made the automatic image slider without use of JavaScript. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. If you have questions, you can do them in the comment section for me. So I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, share. Thank you. Bye for now.